Hello everyone, thanks for joining in. So this is kind of uh, a continuation, I guess, if you will, of a live stream that I did yesterday. Yesterday I tried this quiz where I tried to name as many cities of the world that I could, but I gave myself a time limit of one hour. The problem though is the way I kind of worked is I did it geographically and kind of in like a weird counterclockwise order where I did North America first and then South America, then Africa, then Australia and the Pacific, then Asia, then Europe. But by the time I got to Asia and Europe, I I was only down to like 15 minutes left. So I really rushed my way through Europe and Asia. So I ended up missing a lot of cities just because I ran out of time. So um, what I thought was today I would do another live stream of this website's other quizzes that it has for Europe by itself and Asia by itself. And I was going to put a 30 minute time limit on each quiz for Europe and Asia to see how many cities I can get on those two continents. That way I'm not putting myself under this weird pressure where I have to put them last and I have to rush. So that way it can, I guess, be a more accurate measurement of... Uh, each continent or whatever so just thought you know just be another little fun fun little game so we're gonna go with asia first um i have the every country setting turned on which means if there's a if there's more than one city with the same name then all of them will pop up however that's probably not as common in asia as it is in like the united states so you know well, i guess uh, i'll i'll put on my uh my phone a little timer for 30 minutes and we'll see how many I can get. I'm also probably gonna for this quiz go in a kind of geographical order where I go from like west to east. And we're already at one of the, one of the, um, one of the problems with this quiz is when you're, especially when you're under pressure and you're timed, is there are going to be some cities that I know what they are, but I'm going to spell them wrong. And it won't count, it won't count cities that are spelled wrong. Sometimes it'll count older names for the cities, but, you know, like, for example, right now I'm trying to think there was like a small city in, uh, Western Turkey, and it was the first capital of the Ottoman Empire before they conquered Istanbul, before they conquered Edirne, before they conquered Bursa, and it's like Eskahir or Eskahir or something like that, and I apparently cannot remember the spelling, but um, yeah, there's probably going to be several of those. I love that there's a city in Turkey called Batman. Or I guess it'd be Batman, probably in Turkish, but still. I'm never going to get that spelling, am I? Okay, there we go. Eskeseher. Or, uh, or I guess that's a sh, isn't it? So it'd be Eskeseher? Eskeseher? Wow, really? Half a million people. I thought it was smaller than that. 
Yeah, that was like the, the very first capital of the Ottoman Empire. Um, well, at least I'm glad I got it. Okay. Oh, I guess that was a duplicate. All right, now I'm just going to try to remember all the major <laughs> biblical and crusader era cities so that way I can get a, a, a lot of cities in the Levant over here. forget that there's a Tripoli in, uh, is it in Lebanon or Syria? Lebanon, yeah. Alexandra to Antioch. I don't know, because like some of the, some of these names that I remember are like old older names for cities that I had in like atlases when I was like a younger kid. And so I might have already put Antioch. What's is Adana supposed to be the modern name for Antioch? I think I don't remember. Maybe it's that one. I, I don't remember. Yeah, but sometimes I'll think of like, oh, the older name of the city and then the modern name of the city. Like, um, there have been a few times where like, it's like, I forget that Edirne is the current name for Adrianople. So sometimes we'll play like, oh, Edirne and then Adrianople. What do you mean Adrianople isn't a city? Of course it's a city. But, you know, but it looks like I already got Antioch here. Antikaya. That one, that's it. Iskenderun, that's probably Antioch now. That looks like the right spot. Anyway. sworn there was like a an Iranian city named Sistan or something. Right, I already typed that. Um No, wait no, that's a language, isn't it? <laughs> yes, the city of Fars. Um I am now drawing the blank on so many cities in Iran right now. 
Iran's like another country that like in the past 20 years they've really grown and now they have a lot of cities with over a million people. Um, but like when I was a little, little kid, they only had like two or three. Um, so it almost feels embarrassing to be like, oh, I don't know this city with millions of people in it. But, um, you know, this is what happens whenever you're put on the spot, I guess. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to um, move down into the Arabian Peninsula now. And there's like one other really big city in Saudi Arabia that I can't remember right now. Wait, there's a, there's a sauna in Japan? Sauna? Huh, I'm not sure why I counted that. Oh well. I, I know the city of Dubai, but the only the only reason that I also remember the city of um, Abu Dhabi was that in the comic strip Garfield, it was always a joke that uh, Garfield would uh, mail Nermal the kitten to Abu Dhabi. For whatever reason, it was always Abu Dhabi. So that's like a city that I've like known the name of since I was like a really little kid, and, and only from Garfield. Let's see, and I. I always forget the capitals for Bahrain and Qatar, because I keep... Yeah, see, like, I keep thinking that, like, there's, like, a Bahrain city or a Qatar city, but it's not. Because there's a den. Oh, gosh. I'm really trying to... Oh! Um, right, that's in Pakistan. I mean, hey, I guess it counts, right? It's a city. Oh well, let's uh, continue onwards. Looks like I got 20 minutes left, so we're doing pretty good. There's two Islamabads? Huh. Did not know that. Kashmir's not a city, it's a place. Oh, well, then again, Jammu is a place. Hmm. I, I always like get mixed up Xanadu and uh, Kathmandu because I've seen Kathmandu spelled with an X before, um, but I guess it only accepts the one that starts with a K. But because like Xanadu was like the old ancient, well, one of the older capitals of the Mongol Empire. Um, it was under Kublai Khan, but then there's Xanadu, which is the capital of Nepal. I cannot remember the capital of Bhutan to save my life. Oh, there's a duplicate. Maldives. I got it by accident yesterday when I was doing the world quiz and now I can't remember it. There it is, Malay. Um, let's see. I feel like I should know more in India. No, Assam's a region. Um. 
Okay, there's one. Huh, I thought... I thought Goa was the name of the Portuguese enclave in India. But there is that one. There's Dew. What was the third one? Also, Dew is a lot smaller than I thought. Um... Right, there's indoor. There's like a... No, there's like a... There's like one major city in like the bottom left corner of India. And then there's like another one. It's like... Like in here. I'm trying to remember them both. Oh, is it, uh... Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it's a city, but I thought I could have sworn it was bigger. No, well, don't want, don't want to spend too much time in India when I've got, like, all <laughs> the rest of Asia to go. I'm so mad because, like, yesterday I forgot the capital of Tajikistan, Dushanbe. But now it's like, oh, well, of course, it's Dushanbe. I always hate it when your brain does that, where, like, some days it's like, well, of course I know the capital of Tajikistan is uh, Dushanbe. But then some days it's like, oh, I, I'm choosing to completely forget this now. Capital of Uzbek okay, Uzbekistan is going to be the Stan country whose capital I forget today, I guess. Oh gosh, what is the Uzbeki capital? Uh, oh, well. And that's the only city I know in Mongolia, its capital. Can't remember the capital of Tantuva, I guess. Alright, uh, let's go with Asian Russia now. There, I know a few of those. Oh. I could have sworn there was a Samara in Russia too, although maybe that's in the European Russia. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of any more in Russia. I, I, I know there's a lot of smaller ones up here, but uh, I, I, I guess I'll just move on to. I'll move on to China now. China's gonna be one of those ones where I'm gonna like. Oh yeah, I was able to get like 20 cities with a million people in China, and that won't even be half of them probably.
keep thinking there's like, which I mean, I'm sure there is, but I feel like there's like another Manchurian city that's pretty big that I'm trying to remember. But I basically, I mean, those are the main three, but I feel like there's another one. No. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess Canton's the same name as Guangzhou. Hmm. Oh, see, like, there's so many more big ones in China, and now I'm blanking on them. I feel like some of these city names I'm going to mix up with, um, with like some of the um, province names. Oh, wait. Yeah, in 20, 2021, Wuhan. I probably should have, that city probably should have been on my mind considering everything that's happened. Uh, oh, it looks like I've only got eight minutes left in the Asia quiz, so I guess I'll just unfortunately have to move on. Those are really the only cities in Korea I can name. Sadly, I think that's true. Now there's like a there's like a second city in Hokkaido I should really know the name of other than Sapporo. And don't forget the city of Obama in Japan. I'm trying to think of all of the major cities that I've uh, heard in like um, in like various anime because there are a lot of anime that's set in actual Japan of course so like I actually just learned the, I just learned like a few years ago um, that uh, the Kanto region in Pokemon is named after the Kanto region which is I guess like the kind of the Tokyo area of Japan 
And I didn't realize that that was actually a real place. Because I thought the whole place was fictional. Um, okay, I'm going to move on to Southeast Asia before I go back to China and Japan. I remember there's a ton of sands in, uh, in the Philippines. Quezon, that's what it was. That was another city I couldn't remember yesterday. I knew it started with a QU. That's an island. Um... I know there's a city right here. It used to be called a Ke. I don't know if it's called that now. I guess not, because it didn't give me it. There's like the Burmese capital is like a smaller city in the middle, like right here. It starts with like a P. It sounds like I think it's like Palmagal or something. I'm probably gonna get the spelling wrong. All right, got four minutes left before the time is up for the Asian quiz. So let's see. Oh, wait. Almost forgot Cambodia. Russian one, um, starts with an... There we go. It's a, t <laughs> it's a tiny city, but it's also a spot in... It's like the only one in the area, and it's like a spot, a landing spot in Hearts of Iron 4. So, I, I knew there was something there. Oh, gosh, surely I can name another one from China or Japan. Surely. Um, is Naira... Okay, there's an aura. Okay. Um... Oh, gosh. Got, got two minutes left. The, the other Hokkaido one, um... Yeah, there we go. That also looks smaller than I remember. Huh. Okay. Really, 
really trying to remember if there's only one minute left. 30 seconds more like. Shoot. Um... Yeah, I, I, I got like 10 seconds left, so I, I don't think I'm gonna, any, gonna get any more. So, looks like for Asia, in 30 minutes, I got 186 cities off the top of my head, which is apparently 353.6 million people, and 23 and almost a half percent of the Asian urban population. Um, I'm sure that, uh, there are several that I missed. Let's find out. So there were six cities with over five million people I missed. I'm sure those were all India and China. There are 236 cities with over a million people. I didn't even crack a hundred. That, that's fascinating. Um, 526 cities of over 500,000. I didn't even crack a hundred. There were three capitals, or sorry, three countries I missed, and six capitals that I missed. See, I, I forgot Bahrain, Qatar's capital, so that's two. I didn't get Uzbekistan's capital, so it's three. Bhutan is four. Um, Burma's five. What's the sixth one? I cannot remember. Oh well. Well, okay, so I guess it's Asia. So now um, we are going to do the um, quiz for Europe, also with only 30 minutes. So uh, this one, I mean, let's be real. I, I know more about European places than Asian places. I, I'm typically more interested in many parts of European history. There's th there's going to be things like battle sites and ancient sites, so I'm probably going to get way more in Europe than Asia, even though Europe has less people. Sad but true. Um, every country setting is on, just like with Asia. I'm going to give myself uh, 30 minutes, also like with Asia, starting now. And I'm going to go once again in a geographical order because that's just how my mind works i'm gonna i'm gonna do scandinavia then i'm gonna do russia then former soviet countries then the balkans then central europe and then uh the low countries italy france spain portugal and i'll do the british isles last so here we go I'm so proud I can actually spell that. Wow, am I really not going to be able to name any more? Oh, wait. Right, because of World War II, I remember Narvik. Am I really not going to be able to name any other Scandinavian cities, though? That's actually kind of sad. Eh, I guess I could do Denmark. <laughs> and those are the only Dan Danish cities I remember. Oh, uh, I should probably remember more. Oh, um... That's the one I was looking for, Malmo. I kept putting like Malheim or something, but I don't know. Uh, let's see, is this is this Norway maybe? 
Oh, wow, that's... Wow, that's actually a lot of places. But it is in Norway, so good, I'm not crazy. Wow, that, there's a lot of Bergens in Germany. Interesting. Okay. So now moving on to Russia. Okay, so there was a Samara in Russia. I'm not crazy. That's good. Oh yes, the capital of Volga, Bulgaria is now super tiny today, but it still exists. There's like a city so starts with like RY. That's like close to Moscow and I'm trying to remember what it is. that place with the Olympics. Then... I guess it's technically new. Well, I mean, it's occupied by Russia now. But I, I guess I can make my way into Crimea. That's definitely in Ukraine. Oh, is that in Ukraine too? Oh, so it is. Oh, but still, I... <sighs> okay, at least one of those was a city. There's so many like cities where like I'll remember like three quarters of the syllables and sometimes I'll just have to trial and error. Like what sounds Russian enough and then it'll be one of them. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna move on into the rest of uh, the former Soviet Union and continue with Ukraine. There's like a city that starts with like Dnieper or Dniester, isn't there? It's like a big one, like right here. Oh. Why did I think that Kursk was in Ukraine? Oh well. Um. Well, maybe it doesn't count as a city anymore. Uh, gosh. I know there's... Some city here, it starts with like Dnieper or Dniester or something, because it's named after the river. 
Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh well. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of breasts. Um. Klaipeda, okay. I, I know it by the old German name of uh, Mimmel. Oh, that one's in Russia too, right. And let's see, there's like one city that's like right on the border above the lake here. Oh, that one's gonna bother me. Shoot. It's like right there in my head. Gotta remember that one. Okay. Moldovan capital. I thought it was like Chisnau or Chisnau or something like that. Uh. Oh, oh, um. That, okay, that was not the city I was thinking of. Sorry, I did not mean to press that. That was by accident. Anyway. Oh gosh. I just watched Castlevania. I should remember more Romanian cities. Mostly Bucharest. Oops, sorry, I had the... Don't know if you can hear that, I accidentally had the stream playing. Um... Wait, what am I doing in Romania? I still need to go to Greece. cities I can name. Oh well. Oh, now I'm gonna forget the Montenegrin capital.
Okay, good. That's a region. Um. <sighs> was that was the fake city? It's like the one, the, the main city was it was fake, but the other cities were real. Gresham was fake. Um, okay. It's like the one capital in Europe that's harder to spell than Reykjavik is Ljubljana, Ljubljana, however, however the heck you pronounce that, Slovenia. Oh, what is, it? I thought it, Podrodica, Podrovica, something, one of the, a name similar to that I know is the capital of Montenegro. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, good. That was another Romania one. Um, so you got Jossie. Got. Okay. I'm. Oh, right. Two, the two Ottoman battles in Hungary, Mohawks and Pex, I remember those. Those are real cities. are the only cities that I can name in Czechia, and Bratislav is the only one I can name in Slovakia off the top of my head. Uh, let's do Poland now. I'm Now, for any for any uh, Poles who are watching right now, I apologize, but there are going to be a lot of cities that I am not going to... I'm going to know that they exist, but I'm going to get the spelling wrong. Or if I do get it right, it'll be because I'll use the old-fashioned name when they used to be German or something. So... Uh, forgive me, but here we go. <laughs> Please tell me I spelled this right. See, but I remember the German one. Alright, what was the... See, like, who spells a city like that? S-Z-C-Z-E-C-I-N. Okay. Oh. Well, time to get dark. I mean, it's a real city.
But there's another one called a Kelmo. Um, okay. What, what is another one? Um, All right, I got 12 minutes left, so I'm just gonna move on from Poland. I apologize. I did the best that I could. Bern, Geneva, Neuchâtel. What's the other big one in Switzerland? I'm gonna forget. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, I'm just going to move on to Germany. Zurich. That's what it was. That's a region. Oh gosh, because there there were two, there were um, there were multiple German states named Hesse, and one of them was Hesse Castle, and then the other one was Hesse um, Darnstadt. I'm trying to remember how to spell it right. There we go. Uh, let's see. There's so many in Germany. And I'm gonna forget that one. Oh. The, 
the area that's near um, Battle of the Bulge. There we go. Okay. Oh well. And there's like one called like Nimijen or Nemijen or something. It's like along the border. Uh, oh, right. Those are two more German cities. All right, now on to Italy. I knew one of them still existed. Um, let's see. Okay, I think, I think that's all the Italian ones that I can remember. I'm, I mean, obviously there's more, but I don't remember any others. So I think I'm good there. Now I'm going to move on to France. I already got that one, right. All of the all of the major like World War One treaties were signed in France, so typing in the names of the treaties always bring up cities. Oh maybe there's not trying them.
Uh, there's like one city that's like where Brittany and Normandy touch. I'm trying to remember what it is. Got that one in Italy. Okay, got that one. Um... Shoot, I do not have a lot of time left. Got a blitz. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Can I try to blitz myself through the um, UK in the last few minutes? Shoot, 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 um... Oh gosh, I got one minute left. Uh... Alright, I got York. Shoot, um... Okay, yeah, that, that, that's time. Okay. Okay. So, Europe, uh, under a 30 minute time limit, I was able to get 373 cities. I feel like I could have named more in the UK, Spain, maybe France if I had more time. But, you know, that's the name of the game. You gotta be strategic, I guess, when you put yourself under pressure and under time. So let's see how I got statistic-wise. I got the most in Italy. Huh. Four people. Wow. So there's two Hombergs in Switzerland, one with four people and one with nine people. Interesting. So I missed four cities with over a million people. I feel like that... I feel like one of those cities is in Spain, because I feel like I forgot a major city in Spain. And I feel like the others are in Russia. Unless it's that deny per city in Ukraine that I missed. That's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, 64 of 95 cities with over 500,000. 175 out of 700 cities with over 100,000. I missed five countries altogether and um, six capitals. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, you know what? Malta. I forgot about Malta. Yep, right there. That's not what Malta looks like, but it's right there. Malta, Andorra, Liechtenstein, 
I forgot those three. I remembered San Marino and the Vatican. Yeah, I should have remembered those capitals in Andorra. What were the other capitals I missed, though? Um... Yeah, I'm really... Hmm. I'm actually not sure what other capitals I missed. It said I missed... Oh, Montenegro, Kosovo. Okay. So it's five capitals. Was I missing... Okay, six capitals. So, uh... Liechtenstein, Andorra, Malta. That's three. Then uh, four and five for Montenegro and, uh... Kosovo. What's the sixth capital I forgot? Because I got Cyprus, got Athens. I'm actually kind of at a loss here at what other capital I forgot. If anyone in the chat has any idea what capital I forgot, let me know, because I, I honestly have no idea what other cap what's the sixth capital I forgot. Moldova, that's what it was. Right. Okay, I need to look this up or I'm going to go crazy. Chisinau, is it Chisinau? Chisinau? Okay. Alright, I want to see, see what Ukrainian city I was talking about so I know I'm not crazy. Is it just Dnipro? Really? Oh, and Poltava. And did I get Kharkiv? Oh, Poltava I should know, but Dnipro. Okay. I thought it was more complicated than that for some reason. Okay, I remembered Kharkiv. Interesting. All right, well, um, now that I have done um, both of these quizzes, I guess it is time to conclude the stream. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. And until next time, I'm Emperor Tigerstar. See ya!